I thought I had more time. There we go. Again, I forgot about the dolls chat. Uh, I have no idea what to expect for this direct. Or, I know they're not called directs, but, you know, I know you're... Audio Roboto. No! It's probably because they opened Photoshop because they need to fix something. seconds that'll be hopefully normal. You sound like you're talking into a fan? Wait. Chat! <laughs> my uh, my bot had voice mod had changed my voice. God damn it. Why did that happen? Yeah, it was voice mod. It was on a mod I didn't realize. Morning. So, for this, I had no clue what to expect. Like, I, I'm almost done watching this just to have a good time. So, yeah, hoping for something fun. Hey, there it is. Now I can actually turn off the... Uh, Oh god, I have so much going on right now. Uh, uh, where's the window? Not that window, it's this window. Stop the music. Ah, full screen that. Thank you. Uh, OBS, there you are. Hey! I was up since Rabbit was announced, so I'm ready for this. Oh boy. Uh, I'm gonna check real quick on properties. I'm gonna make that a thousand. Okay. Oh god. Uh, could anyone type? Thank you. Let me just. Hey, and back to normal size. Ish. You're gonna be stretched today too. Well, no, I actually can fix this. You're gonna disappear again, but I can fix this. There we go. It's fixed! I did it! I'm good at this! I hope. No more tall chat. It was that easy to fix, huh? I was just stubborn. Okay, but yeah, hopes. Honestly? I have no clue. Let me also jump in on Discord so I get my face up there. Uh, there we go. 
while I'm watching out, well, hi. While I'm watching this direct, I will also try and work on the thumbnail for uh, the Square Enix one. Uh, wait, there it is. Crap, I can only be on it. Uh, I can uh, only be on audio only. Ah. Microsoft will either be so hyped that you remind us of uh, Microsoft or kind of dull. No in between. Fair. That's a lot of 18 plus. I wonder, am I going to have to pull out the timer this time too, or should I be fine without it? Drop in the wrong layer, thank you. Boom. Okay, Xbox and Bethesda. 20 years. That's how long Xbox has been with us. And like you, this is a moment I always look forward to. I love seeing the new games crossing my fingers oh. from my favorite <laughs> I didn't expect this was gonna be hot, Mr. Howard. Most it just all, works. I love seeing everyone around the world come together and celebrate what games mean to all of us. And I think, you know, this past year, they've meant even more. Thank you for being with us today. Fair. Thank you for the support you give us. And one yeah, day. like I feel like as a turning 20, gamer, and I uh, this hasn't been, oh God, as rough on me as it has been on many others that I know. At Bethesda, we believe video games do one thing better than anything else. They transport us through art and technology. There's real magic when you Let's step into a new here. world and can make it your own. We've traveled the worlds of Elder Scrolls, of Fallout, yeah. and now, for the first time in over 25 years, we're creating a new universe with Starfield. Oh. Hundreds of years in our future. It's an epic. Oh, hi. Our shared humanity in answering our greatest mystery. It's a game we've dreamt of playing. Uh huh. And until now, that we have the hardware, Spore the technology, too. and the team who's hard at work at home to make that dream a reality. We're excited to finally share our first in game teaser and something to look forward to. Hmm. This can be interesting. What is it gonna be, though? They say, the wonder is. Oh, there's not gonna be subtitles. The stars is so vast, but that we have measured it. You're part of constellation now, part of our family. Hi. What you found, it's the key to unlocking. And <laughs> the answer is in Skyrim's new port remaster. Uh, I hear fable news. I hear debate about there being fable or not. Todd is real quiet. Fair. I'll turn up We've them a little bit. Of humanity's final journey. No! My thumbnails! No! That's why we're here. Discover what's out there. Good luck, Constellation. You are go for launch. I have no clue what this game's gonna be like. Seth Stocks is a thumbnail 2021. <laughs>
It's an Xbox exclusive. Oh. Huh. <laughs> Movie trailer with no gameplay count. One. I'll share with you for the very first time one of the most anticipated games in the world from Todd Howard and the team at Bethesda Game Studios. A groundbreaking game. And yes, it's exclusive. Welcome. Yeah, to didn't they actually talk about that they would not make things exclusive? So but I'm guessing this is Bethesda making it exclusive for so Xbox and not like making a franchise that is an like, not exclusive, here. suddenly I'm exclusive. I'm grateful that games have been such an important source of joy and connection. We are committed to forging the next era of gaming. Conjuring worlds never before possible, unlocking play of no! devices, and delivering the power of games to Why does it go on the wrong monitor? And now we get to share that quest with Bethesda, not just as partners, but as one team, united in bringing the very best games to more people everywhere. So today, we get to reveal more of what's to come. We have an amazing show. 30 titles, 27 in Xbox Game Pass. <laughs> And of course, every single console title you'll see today is optimized for Xbox uh -huh. Series X and S. Offering are you sure I have the recording on the right one? You guys are seeing uh, this screen, right? We get to work with the best studios on Earth. Next. Like you guys seeing Xbox, you should be, right? Yeah. The latest entry in the haunting and evocative franchise created by GSC Game World. Ah! Two. Coming first to Xbox Series consoles. What is Stalker? PC. This will be a true next gen experience, targeting ah! resolution and ray tracing. Let's take a look at what you'll get to play when it launches next year. Спасибо тебе. Ты многим сталкерам жизнь спас. Fucking why? I know it's my main monitor, but I'm using the other one. Is that just a window capture? It actually doesn't work. It doesn't work with window capture. Another shooting game. Is it like Metro series? Yeah, you haven't missed anything yet, really, Stormbringer. Like, this actually shows gameplay, the other one didn't. I have no idea what Stalker is. Like, all you need to know is they are working on gameplay, or working on a space Bethesda game. But that's about it. Вот говоришь, а Говорят, ты знаешь, где вход в фундамент. Тише, тише. I'm just gonna go grab something real quick while this is going on. Узнаешь мотив. Слышал? Вот это культура, а ты одно и то же по кругу лобаешь. Сам же просишь. Мне музычилище, если что. О, месье, прошу прощения. Может, вам к ученой? <смех> Профессура. Они вам лабораторию найдут.
Invisible dudes, neat. Like, like yesterday. Uh. <laughs> like yesterday, this is not for me. But this is doing a much better job of portraying the game. So far, Xbox has done better than uh, Ubisoft. But they're showing a lot of dialogue still, but that's more mood setting. Зона дала мне жизнь, новую жизнь, жизнь, которую я готов вернуть, если потребуется. Я буду защищать ее всегда. I wonder how long the Ubisoft Direct actually would be if you cut down all of the talking. And then I don't mean like they're talking over the game. I just mean talking with them on the camera. Привет. Нужно с ним поговорить. Удачной охоты, Stalker. Stalker two, let's go. Okay, next year. So I didn't quite get that like the stellar game that was shown first. Was that Xbox exclusive or was that Microsoft exclusive, like Xbox and computer? Back for blood? Is it back for blood again? We're surviving here. Yes, back for blood. Building. Survive is not enough. We've got to fight. Okay, so more look into how it works. When was the last time you saw written in any numbers? Hmm? Or at least I'm guessing it's back for blood. Hmm. No rest for the wicked. Eh. Nice neck. Yeah, this is from yesterday. I've seen this. <laughs> Ow. It, it's always important for these games to have some sort of PvP, I feel like. Is that about the new Left 4 Dead style game? Yes. Looking at this, I can really tell it's very much Left 4 Dead inspired. Yeah, same creators. The day before my birthday, I, did we get the release date earlier? Imagine all the sound, man. It's really hard to say what to mute or not to mute. I think Xbox is better than Ubisoft about this, but Ubisoft was more obvious about what couldn't be. More traders. Xbox Game Studios. You know what, no, this, I, hmm, do I trust this? I don't know if I trust this one. You know what, I'm gonna keep talking a little bit while I look up a video, and I go, uh, Hair? No, oh, oh, I'm definitely muting this now. There we go. We're catching up where we left off yesterday. Let's go! <laughs> okay, speeding up does not work here. Let's go the opposite way.
No, you know what? A hard egg. Your regular speed might be better. Or a little slow down. This is good. I heard- I remember hearing they got screwed on the IP for a lot for dead games, so they made a new game and it got a new publisher. Fair. Contraband. Okay, what was that trailer all about? Play day one with Xbox pa uh, Game Pass. What was it? So the weirdest thing is- Okay, Sea of Thief! Now, weirdest thing is, I watched the IGN pre-show while getting ready for this. And... The weirdest part of it was, they were saying, Oh, if they're gonna announce Fable, their new Fable game, I hope it's just a CG trailer. And I just sat there sitting, What do you and mean? Wind blows from beyond the horizon. But, like, their context really meant, They don't have gameplay ready, so I hope they don't show it at all, and if they do, a tra uh, like, movie. In the sea of the now, I wonder how much has this game changed if you played it the first time. You must start by saving the life of one. <laughs> Jack Sparrow. Oh. Didn't realize we had come. Yeah. Back. Captain Jack Sparrow. Now it's very important to do that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not taking a chance with goddamn Pirates of Caribbean Disney. Like, that just feels a bit too... Like, I love the song. Fucking love it. But man, I'm taking no risks. Why is it not subbed? Probably a lot of funny jokes I'm missing out on right now. Ooh. Ah, I don't know how I felt about Davy Jones. He had a look. Is it fair to go back to the regular music now? And I could do that at this. Destroy that! Hey, scraps abs! <laughs> yeah, you're right. I think it's fair now. Ooh. I don't suppose by chance there's a second one of those? The Sea of Thieves, eh? Bring me that horizon. A pirate's life. An epic original story. Now, before you say movie trailer number three, this game has been out for X amount of years. We already know what the gameplay is. Whoa! Should I look away? Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Let's do this. I so want to play this game. Is everything. If I have a show's weakness, he's done. Like, how should I say? Uh, oh, I want to see Ichiban or the game with Ichiban, but I don't know if it's going to spoil the games I haven't seen of uh, goddamn uh, Yakuza, which includes. What the? I'm just gonna continue. Happy birthday! But yeah, like I see Majima. Oh god, I see Majima there, and I don't know if it's gonna include like what happened in Kiryu and Majima in the fourth, fifth, and sixth games, which are the ones I haven't seen yet. Or played. And it was available today. Pre alpha gameplay, 128 players. Battlefield 2048. 
Battlefield 2048. Let me just skip ahead back to where we were. There we go. But yeah, I'm glad that Yokusa has managed to get a good amount of staying power now. Like, it has now become, quote unquote, so mainstream that people actually are excited about a new game and they can advertise it and work on it with better budgets and justify it. Come on, I want to see the trailer that everyone was so hyped about, about them doing a drop shot or whatever it was called. Like, flying up in the air on a plane, jumping out of it, shooting it with a rocket and jumping back into the plane again. At least I'm assuming this is uh, Battlefield 2048. Or 2040, whatever it was called. I might be mistaken. This kind of seemed like a battle royale kind of style of uh, a battle, but... Uh... Wait, no, not necessarily. I'm a fool. Uh, I forgot, uh, battlefield uh, rooms were, like, enormous. Because it... <laughs> okay, that's good. They know their fan base. Uh So far I'm enjoying this one. I know Modern Warf or uh, Modern Warf Call of Duty went to the future style, but I think Battlefield makes sense to try that out to like freshen up its uh, feel. As long as don't they don't change the base movement too much. Big rocket. Twenty forty two, releasing October. On consoles. So, how was your day? Oh, you know. I have something to share. When is my yeah, I heard there was talk about that. Oh, this game! Um, uh, the, like, Groundhog Day game. I remember this. Means a lot, but I love you. August? Mean this a lot too, but I catch you. Yeah, August 19th. Xbox Game Studios presents Psychonauts. Yeah. Look at all these gadgets. The mind is the final frontier of humanity. I'm ready for anything. I should experience the other Psychonauts games at some point. I like the designs, though. Ow. The fate of the free-thinking world is in your hands. Self-proclaimed free-thinking. I'm that means the dead letter offers for you. The mission is falling apart. A psychonaut must always remember how to roll with it. Whee! Ow. Acrobatics. <laughs> That's a mood. This is a mission about the fate of the world. Can you do that? Yes. If I can find some bacon. I'm going to ignore that last part. <laughs> <laughs> they are at least having fun. Psychonauts 2, August 25th. Not too long. And now it's more Bethesda. 
I'm gonna be interested, are they gonna do more Doom? This is usually the moment when I say hello, and welcome to the Bethesda E3 Showcase. We love that we can share the stage with Xbox this year, and whether you've known Bethesda for 35 mm -hmm. years or are just getting to know us, we couldn't be happier to bring you the latest on your favorite games. We started this uh -huh. showcase with my good friend Todd Howard, who gave you a first look at Starfield. Along with Bethesda Game Studios, all of our teams are continuing to work on the projects that have been in development since well before we joined the Xbox family. So rest assured, the games you've been expecting and hoping for are still in the works. And today, we're bringing 10 more titles to Game Pass for a total of 30 That's Bethesda fine. Games. That includes several id software games. Also like, like yeah, good, good news to have. Eternal. If you're looking for another Ooh. reason to play it, Doom Eternal will be optimized for Xbox Series X and S on June 29th. Powered by id Tech, this next-gen upgrade will be free for everyone who owns Doom Eternal. Man, I want to play the Doom games. X, it will offer improved visuals at 60 FPS. I know Jay's playing them, but I also want to play them. A 4K mode and an optional performance mode up to 120 FPS. Hmm. Or maybe you're in the mood for an RPG like Skyrim, which marks the <laughs> anniversary this November. <laughs> what did you miss? Uh, Psychonauts 2 release date, 12 minutes release date, uh, Skyrim, uh, ever changing post what was it? Wasteland, uh, like right now they're talking about the, the game pass. Uh, what else was it? Battlefield 2042, Stalker 2. And there was one more. Uh, Bethesda is making a space game. Thanks to an incredibly welcoming and collaborative community. Here's a look at what's coming next in Fallout 76. Oh, more for the online game. Okay. Zombie. Not zombie mode. Guardians of human civilization. You think Bethesda announced a new space game every year? Here. Atlas is safe. It came at a great cost. The Brotherhood must stand united. The super mutant threat takes priority. This proves more than anything the need for our justice. You're splitting our forces, Shin. The most important thing is finding Ooh. everything. Ah, I should stop all tabbing. Ah, stop it. So it comes to this. Yeah, this is all in game. I right. understood what that insignia meant. You are no paladin of the Brotherhood. But this is uh, 76 again. And I am the only one who can stop it. Justice or protect the future of Appalachia and of the world. Your righteous crusade has gone too far. Our duty, but. I believe that we are now stronger than ever. Decide the fate of the Brotherhood. That can never be <laughs> what the hell uh -huh. was that? Expedition Squad Delta, report over. Squad Delta, what's going on out there? What this? This isn't funny. I know you can hear me. Fall out of the Las Vegas or something? Um, is this part of 76 or is it something else? Oh, they they showed more Zero Thieves, yes. Welcome to Pit. Welcome to the Pit. State of Independence. Is it PA and Brewer's Day? Okay. More 76. Uh, yeah, they showed uh, John Depp in Steel Thieves. The Wasteland isn't the only open world playground with or Jack Sparrow, game. rather. The Elder Scrolls Online from Zenimax Online Studios has now surpassed 18 million players. I also heard this game to come good. Signs of slowing down. Right now, our players are enjoying the new Blackwood chapter, part of the Gates of Oblivion year long adventure. We've got a lot more to come in ESO, including the conclusion to this epic story later this fall with ESO Deadlands. And with the release of ESO Console Enhanced this Tuesday, the game will deliver a true native experience optimized for the Series X and S. So 
So yeah, more Elder Scrolls. So a Dwarven City or something? Like, it, I'm not. I don't really know what to say about these ones because. Again, I'm not too interested in this, so, like, neat for those who are interested. Looks nice. I'm going to play or try out Shadowbringers. Is this like the um, brawl or the guys that do like wrestling or something? Gang beast? Yes, gang beast. That's what I'm getting a feel for too. Brawl across the bottom of player stages. <laughs> Yeah, this looks like a fun little party game. <laughs> Gang beast, but cute. <laughs> oh, this uh, this is chaotic. Good. I have a feeling Jay would enjoy this one. <laughs> Party animals. Hmm. Neat. Hades! Yeah. This song is good. Pet the dog. The godlike. Roguelike. Hades. Oh, physical version. Huh. Console launch exclusive. So not a Xbox exclusive, but only launch. Jump ship. It kind of reminds me of, uh, shit, Limbo a little bit. Wow. That's a lot.
Yeah, inside too. Yeah. Inside, but you're outside this time. Somerville. 2022. This holiday marks the 20th anniversary of Xbox and the 20th anniversary of Halo. To our millions of passionate fans, thank you. We wouldn't be here without... So, Halo now. People are probably excited. Has always been to bring Question. Are they going to run online? For the first time, we're thrilled to offer our entire multiplayer experience to all players across Xbox and PC with no barriers. Halo Infinite Multiplayer will be free to play and invite more of you than ever before to become a Spartan hero. I'm excited to be here with Joseph Staten, the creative director of Halo Infinite. From helping craft the original Halo Combat Evolve to leading the fan favorite Halo 3 ODST, Joseph mm -hmm. is a Halo visionary. It is so great to have him back with Halo. Thank you, Bonnie. And hey, everybody. For us, and I hope many of you, Halo has always been about heroism and wonder, about fighting to keep humanity safe against impossible odds in a beautiful and mysterious sci-fi world. This is just one part of the Zeta Halo ring, the largest, most yeah. wide open environment we've ever built. And we can't wait for you to explore it. Spartan 117, the Master Chief. In the next chapter of the Chief's story, you'll face his greatest challenge yet. But yeah. you're not alone in the fight. Oh, the main batteries are shut down. We're stuck out here. So this is from the trailer when we first initially saw them, I believe. The first thing I looked at was Master Chief's ass. Why wouldn't you? I won't play Halo again until they let you be an alien dude again. Understandable. I told you. It's enough. We're with them acting like they're on stage but aren't. Yeah, I mean, I think that's what most of them are gonna do. They did it yesterday to you or the day before. So if this is gameplay, how the fuck? Okay, now we're actually probably going over to gameplay. What happened? Where is Cortana? The rogue AI known as Cortana is gone. She's been deleted. Yeah, rogue. By you? Of course not. Did you hit your head or something? Don't you remember? My instructions were to enter this installation, imitate Cortana, and lock her down for retrieval. Yours were to take her back to the Infinity for deletion. So if it wasn't you... There was a master she fit imposed it on... There's something else. Yeah, imposter. On successful deployment, my deletion routine was supposed to... Complete. Dark Master Chief! Still here. <laughs> Good. Good. Something stopped your deletion. We need to find out why. But Master Chief Walter. The missions change. They always do. Are you sure? No. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was gonna take off its mask. <laughs> Imagine that is how they revealed Master Chief's face. You can't have a Halo game without multiplayer. And on Xbox Series X, you'll be able to enjoy Infinite's multiplayer action at up to 120 frames per second. Well, Max has his face. I'm very Fair. happy to announce that Halo Infinite's first free-to-play multiplayer season and Infinite's story-driven campaign will launch together Wait. this holiday. Wait. Free-to-play? A new generation built to fight. The online is free to play? We are unstoppable. Are you ready? 
That, that's a smart move. I may not have paid attention when they said free play earlier. So they have hooks. I didn't quite pay attention, but could they run? Or is it just one speed? Ow! <laughs> I can tell if this running or just their one speed. Hello, let's do some damage. Ah, the hammer. I remember the hammer. I didn't know there was a hammer, I only knew about the sword. Why did I not know about the big smashing? So it seems like they have the grapple hook, but they do not have running. Which I think is a good compromise. Big smash is the magic build. Magic hammer. <laughs> I played a little bit of Halo game with an uh, old friend a while back. We played it the stupidest, best way possible though. Bear. It's the only way to play. Oh? Now, show me what you can do. So yeah, it seems like they also have skins, which is fine. Yeah, this seems to be a hearkening back to like the uh I can't mark stuff now, it's time to announce my sister in Smash. That it, honestly it would be the best time right now, I think. But yeah, honestly. I would I would play that if I could. Free to play online experience is I think the way to go for now. Blizzard Entertainment, Diablo. Yeah, this feels like Diablo. Still feels like Diablo. Diablo, Diablo 2 remaster or something? But I want a new one. One that I can actually play. Or learn about. They're making Diablo 4. Yeah, I heard they were making one, but I haven't seen anything about it, though. But yeah, this feels like the uh, a remake of uh, 2 or something. A player co op, that's neat. Hi. You're too late. This may be our darkest hour. Uh huh. But it will be your an archangel moment. Yeah, Diablo 2 remaster. I thought it was out already. Home interactive From Asobo. Can we stop it? I don't know. Mm. But he's my brother. And I would die for him. What is this? Hero six. What's that drag? 
Max. Could this be Fable? I know they just said don't expect Fable, but like, how? I have no clue what this could be. A Plague Tale. Requiem. What if I need to? I again sit here thinking, neat, what is it? Play day one with Xbox Pass. So this is not Xbox exclusive. Far Cry. Hola, fascista. I recognize that voice. Let me ask you a question. When I am dead and Yara is burning, what mm -hmm. exactly is your plan? Hold hands, sing songs around the fire? Sure, I know just the song. And it's not original. It's time you learn about resolver, Danny. To take down Castillo, a guerrilla needs the right tool for the right job. Keep talking. As a stealth operation, I got you covered. Hmm. Like, I, I don't know really what they could show me here to, like, sell me more on Far Cry. I've seen the games. They seem neat enough. Okay, that looks fun. Taking out a high-value target, I have just what you need. Is this the son of, like, the, uh, or child of uh, the, uh, I don't know what to call him. You wanna blow shit up? The Far Cry you might have to mute. Fair! Mute! It's not the singing, at least, but, uh, you know, rather say the sorry. Let's up to you, our hopes and dreams. Let's go. <laughs> Look at those chickens. <laughs> okay, that fit a little bit too well. Uh, memes are fun. Look neat, but I could never see myself playing them. Okay, back there and mute the other one. So do I. How many chickens were there? I didn't count them. Hopefully five. Console launch exclusive. Oh, is this the Fox game with like totally not Link Zelda? You know, the game that looks really interesting. It, it's not, it's Slime Ranch! Another game I wanted to try out. Like, I saw it early on, but I have no clue how the game works right now. Hannah's gonna be happy. I can <laughs> I can understand that. Yes, yeah, Slime actually looks like a fun game. Enemies. I got it for free in the early epic days. Ah. Okay, Slime Rancher, not Slime Ranch. Two? Two? There's two? <laughs> Peggle two! Foam punch. <laughs> Welcome back to Shred Again. Here's a new trick. Let's go. Is this a sports game or yeah, this is like snowboarding. Honestly, after uh, R uh, Riders Republic, a sports game gonna do a lot to convince me to buy this instead. I 
I think I'm guessing they're going for graphic fidelity, which, yeah, neat. But Riders Republic, though. I feel like this game hurts a lot by not getting out first before Riders Republic. <laughs> it's Riders Republic except just snowboarding. Yeah, like it seems like they're really focusing on the snow and the snowboarding part and having a lot of like, look at the graphics of the snow physics we're having here. Which, yes, looks neat. Feels like it's kind of important when you're focusing on that, but... Riders Republic though! <laughs> I played Cool Borders 2 on PlayStation 1, I'm good. Fair. Okay, this is good, this is good, this is really good. Holy slothering whip what? I can't read that, me neither. Not at all. Yeah, here's one thing I feel like... Here's one thing I feel Xbox has always been good at, and that is bam, 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 bam. Game, 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 game. What is Atomic Hearts, and why have I not heard of this? Wow, well, that music and... No! I'm not trusting that music. Fuck. That sounded really good. I'm sorry I have to mute it. Well, I uh, to, for me to press M to quickly mute, I need to be actually clicked in on the correct browser. Yeah, this looks real cool. It's a good kind of weird. Look at that. The internet's gonna freak out over that one too. I'm sorry, but they are. Uh, reach operators. I want a new horror game to be crazy excited for. Maybe this is it. So after you know the internet by now, it doesn't take much. Fair. I'm still surprised I haven't seen anything about the rabbits from yesterday. What is this? Yeah, this looks... Hmm. This looks really neat. I feel like with that one though, Rockman, that they already have a template ready and then just go, okay, here's the bug one, draw! It would not surprise me that is actually what many people do just to get a uh, viewer boost. Replaced. Time to put that on the watch list. Originally, this is super neato, yeah. Oh, this! Billions of players kept busy. Yeah, this is like the game where you're hunting with shrunk the kids, but you now got to survive. Fighting. Oh, no, I shrunk the kids. Yes. The bond. Zip lining. Flying things. Hmm. Now, to celebrate. I th I think I saw the game when it was early released. Oh no. What they've been asking for. Oh no. Sitting. <laughs> a lot of people want to sit. Pets for when you get <gasps> sick of your human companions. Pets. And of 
course, mushrooms. But okay. Those kinds, <laughs> we've also got something that but where's the doom? No one was asking for the brood mother. Oh no. She's so terrifying. But this is all the control of her. You should probably turn on arachnophobia mode. <laughs> oh, even her blob scares the sh out of us. I forgot that this game had like a mode like that. Go big. Or never go home. Who would drop a hot dog in their backyard unless they were eating it before getting shrunk? Oh, and it looks like we added achievements too. Nice. Yeah, grounded. That was it. My nephew loves this game. Understandable. It looks pretty fun. Oh, hey, more of this! Are we gonna see more gameplay, or...? Fifteen player lobbies. There are three imposters among us. Wait, did they say the update was on June 15th? Did, did, did they say the update was June 15th? Ow. I want to see the new map. I want to see more than one square. I want to see two. Among Us coming soon. To Xbox. Oh! I may have just imagined the date and not actually seen it. 505 games. They sound familiar. Aiden Chronicles? 100 times? This feels like something I should have heard of. Why is there no talking? It feels like they would introduce themselves. Wolfman. Uh huh, their stories will be spun. Oh, uh, I'm getting kind of motion sick from that. Ah, don't do that again. How many Among Us trailers are going to be on this E3 alone? Maybe one more, I think. And that is maybe on Nintendo's. I, I like that people have realized, hey, this is a style people do. Okay, this looks really neat. Okay. Yeah. People are getting really creative about using uh, art style. Or like using the like pixel arts. And I beat him up. Huh. I glad Octopath is influential. Yeah, I feel like Octopath has made the biggest influence on like modernizing the uh, pixel art games. Not necessarily like story or gameplay, etc., but more in just visual style. You have shown an aptitude for applying lethal solutions to conflicted situations. We wish to test your abilities. Uh huh. What this? Hmm. Huh. Ascent in July. And another one. History is all around us. Yeah, Assassin's Creed. No. Those who made it have never been forgotten. Uh huh. Their daring choices echo across time, turning land into kingdoms and mortals into legends. If history was in your hands. Would you build? I will this presentation end just wondering. I don't know actually. I haven't really looked into it. Clash of Clans now on Xbox. Is this kind of Age of Empire ish? What will you be remembered for? John Dark. Yeah, I would not be surprised if this is like a new Age of Empire or a remaster. 
Rise through the ages. Yeah, definitely Age of Empire. Finally, I can play, play, uh, play as John the Park. Why did you guys? Why do you guys call him John the Park instead of uh, John Dark? Age of Empires Four. Hmm. That's I don't know. That's just what we've been uh, taught there. Yeah. I see a quiet, peaceful setting. This will make our game seem big and important. <laughs> now, <laughs> we must break the serenity. Say goodbye to it forever. Suddenly, and for no reason, people running. Okay. <laughs> These pointless slow motion shots. Make everything seem cool. And uh. bolster pre sale numbers. That wah sound can mean only one thing. We must gaze over an epic shot of a world. And there should okay, be. Okay, despite how fun it is, I want to know what it is actually is. Now we see our hero. But only their silhouette, because the developers haven't finished the design. <laughs> Or finished the story. Or finished any gameplay that's actually ready to show. In fact, the only thing they have finished is the title. Oh, uh -huh. oh Outer Worlds! <laughs> Two! Hmm. That's actually a pretty good trailer then! Like a funny trailer that serves its purpose. Feels like something I would see at Devolver Digital or something. So, flying simulator. It's pilot wings, guys. Looks nice. Can you go to Brazil? <laughs> Mount Everest? Mount Fuji? Mountain? The bottomless pit of Brazil. Uh huh, this guy is calling. Flight Simulator. Got it. July 27th. Not too far away from now. Uh -huh. This sounds very... You know, triumphant. Free expansion. That's neat. Top Gun Maverick. See the movie. I'm supposed to know later when. Okay, 
what's supposed to be the tell on this trailer? Oh, Forza. Pixar's cars. <laughs> you can't say fuck on this. Oh wait, shit, you time. <laughs> there we go. Better. You should drive it and nothing else. Well, driving is part of the fun in some of the games. Are they gonna bring a car out of the venue? Who knows? So, yeah, it's just driving. I have no fear because we have a game that's just driving. Are you for GTA where you do get to drive and do other stuff? <laughs> well, what is that? Huh. Well, there's a difference between, like, a racing game, like, a game designed for driving, and a game that just includes driving in it. Hello. I'm Hello. Creative director at Playground Games. And I can't wait Playing to ground, show you're familiar. what we've been working on. Horizon is known for fun, freedom, and beauty. And this year, uh -huh. the Horizon Festival arrives in beautiful, diverse Mexico. This is the largest and most diverse open world ever in a Forza Horizon game. And oh, more no Forza. a car to explore it than the stunning AMG Project. Look how beautiful it is. Rendered in unparalleled detail and with ray tracing in Forza Vista, thanks to the power of the Xbox Series consoles. Beautiful. I've invited along some of the team to help give you a taste of some of the amazing content that's waiting for you in Forza Horizon 5. Please do. Please welcome Bill, Maddie, Sierra, and Don from the Forza team. Thank Mike. you. Hey guys, what's up? Hey everyone. Hey, what's up, Mike? And we also have Abraham with us as well. He's one of the talented actors who will be appearing in the game. <laughs> Beautiful, the just a fair desert to bring attention to the car. Yeah. <laughs> we begin in the rainforest on an expedition. This is a new campaign mode in which you set out on an adventurous journey across Mexico to explore new uh -huh. locations and discover places. Abraham, no last name. <laughs> I'm on the river now. We're getting close. There you are. How's the expedition going? I'm racing a car through the Mexican jungle, Rami. Doesn't get much better than this. Um, are they doing the Rainbow Six thing? I can see some ruins up ahead. Bienvenida al Smal. Look out for the flamingos. Uh -huh. This city is still a jewel of Mayan architecture. That's like, a peek at our adventurous campaign. Wait, but, but is that actual is gameplay, or is that the what? What was it? Enjoyed with others. Let's go and see what some of our other players are up to. The Xbox Series consoles allow us to capture every last detail. I feel like I'm gonna jump scared. Down to the individual needles on these Choya cactus. I don't want to know about the individual needles of the uh, cactus. But there are no tricks. This is in game. Maddie is behind the wheel of the AMG Project One Forza Edition in Mexico's lush. But does the leaves move if you touch them? Place to meet up with friends and head out for a drive. Thanks to the next generation of our Horizon Live servers, everyone else we see here are real players. And it looks like Maddie has been joined by some other Sounds members. Sounds good. Soda zombie? Soda zombie? Let's leave Maddie for a moment and head out to the coast and meet Don. Don is already on the move, exploring this uh -huh. idyllic seaside town. This is a recreation of Mexico that is honest, authentic, and filled yeah. with love. Speaking of, hold up, Don. Oh, hey, what's up? Oh, this yeah, I just got ready to sort of zombie. Mexican artist Farid Rueda. Just one of the many beautiful, faithful pieces of Mexico you'll find all over Forza Horizon. Uh -huh. They were advertising a drink? Why? Why? While Don drives down to the beach, 
we'll jump over to the Gran Caldera volcano. Check out this geology detail, implemented with precision accuracy using photogrammetry data captured on location mm. atop an active Mexican volcano. The entire world has been recreated at this level of detail. And here's Good. Sierra in her favorite off-road buggy. The volcano Sierra and friends are exploring is the highest point ever in a Horizon game. And thanks to the power of the Xbox Series consoles, from up here we yeah. can see for miles in every direction. It keeps you alert just like how a zombie screaming in your face keeps you alert. Guanajuato. Thank you. Let's take a closer look. Wait, are you going down to Trollstegan? Guanajuato is one of the most beautiful cities anywhere in the world. As you can tell, I'm paying attention. Undulating city full of vibrant architecture. Or rather, as you may uh, know it as the Troll Ladder. And these twisting, turning, overlapping streets I mean that as well as looking good, it plays great too. As we see here, as Don is. But yeah, if you want to see a horrible road, look at the, the troll ladder from Norway. While Don tries to win that race, the rest of our players are still out exploring this diverse open world. Let's head north to the canyon. The Horizon series is known for its uplifting beauty, and using our unique HDR camera rig. We captured 24 hour shoots of real Mexican skies at 12K resolution. And thanks to the Xbox Series consoles, these photo realistic skies result in yeah. lifelike lighting that dynamically changes every frame, making you feel like you're really. I love happy. being able to see that in this video. Here's Maddie again. She's joined by Abraham and some other. Oh, God, you're right. That is a terrible road. I just looked. I told you, right? Assistant that intelligently tracks the status of you and, <laughs> theme. and then helps you link up and play together. Uh. We'll now head deep into the rainforest and rejoin Bill and the rest of our players. Here we see our new volumetric lighting system filling the scene with god rays as the sunlight dapples through the dense rainforest. A horizon arc How dense is, it? is about to start. Forza Link knows that Bill loves minigames, so it intelligently prompts Sierra to invite Bill. Bill accepts, and they're seamlessly linked together with their GPS route set. That's we'll neat. Horizon Arcade minigame starting soon. Yeah, this is a good showcase of gameplay. This mini game pinatas. Pinata pop, signaled by the Horizon cargo plane dropping a payload of pinatas. Ooh, over this way. Gotta catch up to you guys. Our players now have to work together to find and pop as many as they can. Okay, go up here to the left. There's loads along the main road. Here I go. I'll take a look through the bushes here. There's some between the houses. <laughs> oh, there's a couple more over here. Sweet. While the team grabbed those last few with the uh, <laughs> God race. Stadium, because I have one. This is the first time I've ever heard that saying. Yeah. This is not be what Pinata is now. This is Event Lab, the incredible new tool set that allows huh. you to create your own races, game modes. Oh, okay, that's actually good. You customize everything. Right down to the fundamental rules. Is this the first time they had this? Like, this is what I would be interested in. Not driving in Mexico. Forza Horizon 5 is the largest, most fun, and most beautiful open world we've ever built. Uh -huh. And it will truly be an astounding showcase for the Xbox Series consoles when it comes to Xbox Game Pass this November 9th. Thank uh -huh. you so much. I'll see you all in Mexico later this year. See you then. Bye. Team Xbox is on a mission. Oh, is this the end? Community of gaming to everyone on the planet. Wait, they didn't end on X on Master Chief or uh, like Everything Halo. Today, what are they saving? Thirty games. Twenty-seven of them will be available on Xbox Game Pass. Now, through the end of the year, hmm. you can look forward to back-to-back -back monthly releases landing day one on Game Pass led by five new titles from Xbox Game Studios, as well as highly anticipated games like Back for Blood, 12 uh, so Minutes. One thing I've heard though, is that apparently the and new fighter from Nintendo is leaked. I'm or it was just a Twitter uh, used to go like, oh, I saw the new fighter LMAO and just being like, ha, ah, I made you look. You the highly anticipated RPG Starfield coming exclusively to I have no clue if that the tweet was serious or not. Some of the industry's best RPG storytellers working on Avowed, Fable, The Elder Scrolls I Fable. Online, Fallout 76, The Outer Worlds, It's Mario. And Elder Shit, Scrolls. you're right. We unveiled the stunning multiplayer mode for the world's most beloved shooter 
in Halo Infinite, adding to the roster of iconic Xbox shooters alongside Wolfenstein, Gears of War, Perfect Dark, and Doom. We premiered the most epic open world racing game. How epic was it? Five, bringing you a vibrant and authentic depiction of Mexico in a game built from the ground up for next gen. While the team at turn 10 is hard at work on the next Forza Motorsport. <laughs> Our growing family of 23 studios is devoted to advancing the medium we all love. Xbox Driving in the desert for six hours simulator, God. And that's because of you. Our team strives to make Xbox a place where you'll find the greatest games, the most dedicated developers, and the most passionate community. Together, we all make Xbox the best place to play. Before I go, oh. there's one more thing. Yeah, here's the last thing. Take a look at this brand new original game oh. from the Arcane team at Bethesda. Oh. The studio that created Prey and Dishonored. Arcane created something new for them. An open world immersive shooter that you can play alone or with your friends. Hey. Like Starfield, this game will be an Xbox exclusive. Hey. Hey. Magic. I mean, Prey and Dishonored is a shooting or shooting games. I thought they were stealthy games. No, they they both have guns. Twenty-five centimeters. Dramatically elongated. I really like Prey. Yeah, I remembered. So uh that was fun, right? Okay, so now they're gonna show how they got to that situation. That's your cue, mate! So, uh, borderlines or borderlands like? Uh, vampire? Vampire. Something blood? You could save the dialogue for the video afterwards. <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. Didn't notice it was an elevator to lift you up. Ow. Freeze them with sun and then stake to the heart. You didn't neutralize the gun? Hmm. This looks interesting, but I don't have gameplay to understand. Yeah, this is a really nice. Yeah, like, I'm not gonna lie, this is an incredibly nice pre render trailer. And it makes me feel like <laughs> this movie looks nice. 
Like, what I'm thinking is, like, this is gonna be a, uh, co-op, Dishonored-like game with, uh, reminiscence of Borderlands. You need to speak louder! Couldn't you taste yourself if you want to find out if what vampire tastes like? That's a good one. Do you think things will ever go back to normal? Would you want to go back to normal? Not if I still have to pay my student loans. Okay. Uh... Redfall, summer 2022. Now you say Xbox. Okay, Windows 10 PC. We're going to see how it plays like. Play day one with Xbox Game Pass. They're really hammering home that Game Pass. Powerful verdict. Hey, I. They had some good ones. It was definitely better than uh, Ubisoft's. Like Ubisoft had a game I was actually excited for and really want to play, but this one was overall better. The Square Enix is in a, one hour. It isn't the. Uh, what would it be? Uh, nine. Three twenty. Not bad, not incredibly, infinitely better than Ubisoft's. Yeah, I can give this one a solid 8 out of 10. No games I was interested in, had some slow moments. Uh, but they were about pretty much game, 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 which they usually are. And like some of their big ones, did they didn't show enough of. But yeah, that game, that, that new RPG game, I gotta write down what it was actually called. Oh yeah, forces seem to have some pretty good, like, uh, ideas. Atomic Heart needs. A Halo, uh, uh free-to-play online. Mwah! Shit, the name went past. You can't just make Starfield your big thing when it was the first thing you showed and no comments about what it is. But, with that, I think I'm going to do as I did yesterday, and swap over to Smash, before we then go back to Square Enix in an hour. So, I will see you guys very soon. Until then, or, so sit tight, there's no until then, it's going to be very soon. Be right back.